Welcome to American Patriot News. I'm Romeo, and this is Matt over here. Hunter has, his attorneys have sent a letter to Donald Trump asking Donald Trump to cease and desist from making fun of him about the cocaine in the White House. Matt, let's pull that article up. Let's take a look at this. Hunter Biden's attorney sends cease and desist letter to Trump over his comments about the first son. This is not a false alarm, Hunter Biden's attorneys wrote. <laughs> An attorney for Hunter Biden has sent a cease and desist letter to former President Donald Trump's lawyers that requests their client stop making comments that could endanger the first son and his family. On Thursday, Biden attorneys Abe Lowell, who wrote to Trump's lawyers, saying their client's public statements about his client are defamatory and likely to incite Mr. Trump's followers to take action against Mr. Biden and which could lead to his or his family's injury. What? I, I know I, it's, it's insanity. Let me, I'll whip through it real quick and then we'll laugh at it. Lowell insisted, or Lowell listed examples in the letter of Trump's rhetoric that he argued incited violence, including former Democrat House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's husband, Paul, being attacked. This is not a false alarm, Lowell wrote. We are just one such social media message away from another incident, and you should make clear to Mr. Trump, if you have not done so already, that Mr. Trump's words have caused harm in the past and threatened to do so again if he does not stop. The letter continues. The letter concludes with Lowell telling Trump's attorneys they don't have to respond. I hope you will speak with Mr. Trump privately and explain to him how his incitement can further hurt people and cause himself even more legal trouble. Wow. I'll let you go first. <laughs> well, that sounds like, stop picking on me. Stop picking on me. That's what it sounds like to me. Man, I, I give you my word. I was going to say the same thing. It's it's uh, schoolyard politics. Stop teasing me. Yeah. Yeah. And then they use what happened to Paul Pelosi to, uh, to warrant this uh, cease and desist letter. Well, what Trump is doing and what Paul Pelosi, the situation, uh, couldn't be any more different. Yeah. I mean, they just couldn't be any more different. And by the way, Paul Pelosi wasn't attacked by a Trump supporter we know now. Remember how the media, the good old media that always tries to be fair and impartial, the first things they said were this, that Paul Pelosi's attacker was a far right wing conspiracy theorist and a MAGA Trumper. Well, we all know now that he's a homosexual living in a bus. Um, with a prod flag and, yeah. and a, uh, a Black Lives Matter flag. Right. Who, who couldn't hate Donald Trump more. Yeah. So the, the media consistently gets it wrong. Because these lawyers remind me of, of, of media personalities. Yeah. You know, I mean, they're like advocating for, they want Trump to stop teasing Hunter. Listen, man, we didn't have, uh, Trump didn't have the cocaine problem, Hunter. Well, what they want uh, to happen is Trump to stop talking. And that's, yeah. that's universal when it comes to Democrats. That's universal. And also the uh, media, they want them to keep quiet. They don't want him to say anything. They they want him completely out of politics and everything else. They want him to retire and go to prison. That's what they right. really want. Right. And you know what really strikes me about this whole thing? The very fact that his that Hunter's lawyers came out with this letter publicly tells me, man, they're at wit's end, Matt. Yeah. This is so think about like think about having your lawyers make this letter public the stop teasing me letter like he's it sounds like hunter is one step from you know doing something drastic he sounds at the end of his chain it's pretty desperate it's a desperate move by the lawyers yeah. and by hunter biden and by and by even joe biden's administration 
because really I think this was probably decided on a, a, the fact is Hunter Biden doesn't do anything without the administration administration actually tell him it's okay for him to do. Right. He's pretty much checking in on everything that gets released. Yes. So the not so brainy trust around the president, they came to the conclusion that this was a good idea. Or like, at least okay. Yeah, I could have told you in like a millisecond, oh no, that shows weakness and desperation. It's the last thing in the world you want to do. You don't even want to acknowledge Donald Trump. Yeah. But well, instead, they, they swallowed the hook. It's like in fishing terminology, Hunter and his dad swallowed the hook and called their mommy. Oh, I mean lawyer. Well, uh, here we go. I, uh, I'm going to put the statement up Donald Trump made that I think what actually initiated this actual letter he got. Let me go ahead. All right, all there. right. This should be interesting. I haven't read it yet. It has just been announced that the investigation of the cocaine in the White House has ended, despite all the cameras pointing directly at the scene of the crime. And the greatest forensic anywhere, forensics anywhere in the world, they just can't figure it out. They know the answer, and so does everyone else. In the meantime, they continue to target and investigate me for years. And what's that been called? The greatest witch hunt of all time. Over nothing. Election interference. A two-tier level of justice. Yeah, he's absolutely right on point. I mean, he can't he can't point out that Hunter is a cocaine addict and cocaine was found in the White House. Look, in and of itself, that's kind of funny. And it's kind of sad and really dangerous in another way, like the like we said earlier today, it could have been anthrax. And there would be a whole bunch of dead people then, but it turned out to just be cocaine. Now, yeah. Hunter has to expect the jokes. Come on. Yeah. I mean, they get, grow a little thick skin. The jokes are coming. But what they've done to Donald Trump, now that is an egregious violation of morality, of our social norms and mores around, even around politics and elections. It's a abomination to go after a former president with this kind of vigor when he really didn't do anything wrong. Nothing. Well, you got to remember when Biden took the White House, his main goal was to bring dis decency, respect, and honor back to the White House. Has he, has he done that? And to be honest with you, all the investigations that are uh, getting uh, suppressed – uh, mm -hmm. including this one, you know, don't get me wrong. I, I argued that the social security, uh, that the, uh, social security, that the secret service is doing their job actually, uh, this morning. And yeah, in some I ways they are. Too. Yeah. And, you know, that, uh, I don't think it matters who the president is. They would have done the same thing. Yeah. It, that's their job. Yeah. Uh, and the fact is we'll find out the truth after, after, uh, uh, Biden leaves office or after he passes away. In like 75 years, yeah. you know, like they're going to classify this for so long, I'm sure. Yeah. But it is that you're right, man. It is the Secret Service's job to look out for the president and his family and spare them embarrassment and stuff. We both get that. But um, the security breach and the very fact that it's cocaine and Hunter's had such a grand and public cocaine problem. And, and I'll add to that, Matt, the reason people know about Hunter's cocaine problem is because he's talking about it all the time because yeah. of all the pictures and videos on his laptop. He did this to himself, man. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, the thing is they should be prepared for the jokes, no matter where they're coming from, whether they're coming from uh, comedians, the, uh, the media, from people like us on 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 YouTube or from the ex president of the United States, does it really matter? Because the fact is, it's funny. <laughs> and, and you're a public figure. Yeah. And you know you screwed up. Yeah. Now this is what you got. I mean, yeah. don't don't cry to me. You're living <laughs> at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. 
We don't want to hear it. Try to somebody else. Yeah. Well, guys, we're going to have to end it. We hope you enjoyed. Please hit that like and also comment. It really helps push the video. And please share this out. It helps us as well. We really appreciate that. And uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I hope we earn your subscription from this video. And Romeo, you got the last word. Yeah, um, just today we hit 50,000 subscribers, which is totally awesome. We thank each and every one of you who subscribed. Please uh, pass our channel on to some friends. We plan on being here and working really hard to bring you the news. Have a wonderful rest of your evening.